Hello, welcome to December. It is time for the December notebook newsletter. And for this month, I have some gift bundles to talk to you about. And what I did was I recorded the gift bundle ideas in a Facebook Live in the Journaling and Friendship Facebook group. So if you're not in that journaling and Facebook friendship group, I think you should join. You can just reach out to me or find me on Facebook and I can add you to the group. You can just search for journaling and friendship. Every single day in that group, you get a journaling prompt, which you can either use as is, you can save it for later. You can just think about it throughout the day and not even journal about it. You can do so many things with it. And um, in that journaling and friendship Facebook group, I share some uh, lives and some extra things for that community. So I think it would be great for you to join if you're curious or interested. So last week, or maybe the week before, I shared some gift bundle ideas. So I'm gonna put that video right after this introduction. And I just wanted to say, it's the holiday season. There's a lot going on. Take some time for yourself, journal, make a list, write things down, empty your brain onto paper so that you can have some distance. These are all self-care techniques that can help you and you can use a journal or notebook in those self-care techniques. And I want to give you a gift. As you know, if you've watched any of my previous videos, I love showing appreciation for people who do a five-star review on Amazon for the journals and notebooks. So if you are the first reviewer of one of those journals or notebooks, I would love to give you a gift of a notebook or journal of your choice in appreciation. Let's go to the gift bundle idea. So yes, I wanted to come live today to share some gift bundle ideas using notebooks, okay? So I have a few different gifts kind of curated and created, and I wanna share with you uh, who and how you could put who these would be perfect for and how you could put these together. So if you want to help teach younger people how they can be thankful and show gratitude and appreciation year round, I have two gratitude notebooks for kids. So this one is gratitude journal for monsters and kids. I thought kids would like it. And then this one is called my first gratitude journal. And each of them just have pretty much wide open blank spaces with three little bullet points. And the idea is that the child or adult, whoever wants to use it, would just think of three new things every day that they're grateful for. So these are kind of fun. Um, they're, they're designed for children. They've got some funny little images on it. This one on the back says, a grateful kid is not a unicorn. Um, also, if you're, joining this video because you're thinking, oh good, I need some gift ideas. It's hard for me to come up with gift ideas. Maybe you want to get this gift idea generator book. And this is a place for you to write in about all the people that you love. And so you could list their important dates and then you could list their hobbies and interests, their favorite places to shop, their favorite colors, their favorite flavors or treats. And just kind of as you notice them, you would start filling them in. And then when it's time to give them a gift, you flip to their page and you have some ideas that you had forgotten that you had written down six months ago or this time last year. So that might be a great idea for you. Um, if you're struggling to think of some gift ideas. And if you're just feeling a little bit overwhelmed or knowing that you have a lot of things that you want to get done during the holiday season, I have this checklist book. I love making lists and checking. I love that dopamine hit that I get from checking the checkbox. So this is a list, just pages and pages of checkboxes. And then on the other side of the page is dot graph paper. And this one is seasonal. It says making lists and checking them twice. And it's helping you to keep track of your winter to do's. So this would be fun to remember all the groceries you want to buy, all the de decorations, the gifts, who you want to reach out to, who you want to follow up with. This would be a great way to keep track of all of those winter to do's. All right, let's get into some specific gift ideas. I love bundling things together. I love giving people gift cards too. I think that makes a great gift because then they can go choose and pick out what they want. But maybe you feel like, well, I don't want to just give a gift card, but then I don't want to add too much more to it. So I think giving a notebook, a journal that's just 
you know, five to six to seven dollars is a great addition to a gift card. So here's one. If you were going to give someone in your life a makeup gift card, uh, then you could give them this makeup collection notebook and then they can go through and fill in the different products and makeups and colors and just different things that they're trying, the skincare or whatever. And then they can go through and write down what it is, how they liked it, what color they got, when they started using it, how long it lasted, and if they're going to rebuy it or not. So this is a great gift for someone who loves playing with makeup and playing with skincare and doing all that kind of thing. Um, if you know someone in your life who doesn't care so much about makeup and just cares about drinking wine, there's a wine version of that same book. So you could give this with a bottle of wine or with a gift card to a store that sells wine. This is the wine version. There's also the same one of these, but it says beer instead. So there's some options there depending on your gift recipient. And each set, set of pages lets you list information about the wine. It's like doing a wine tasting on your own. And I have a version of this book, a pink version, and I, I've actually taken it with me to wine tastings and it's very interesting and fun. And I know I'm gonna love flipping back through those pages and seeing my notes and the memories about the wines that I tasted. Okay, so those are just a few ideas. I've got some more bundled together things here. So we'll go through some of these gifts to give you some ideas. Now this one is an actual gift. I'll probably put it in a different bag so it's not so self-promoting, uh, but I have a friend who's not on Facebook, so I feel pretty safe in talking about this. Her birthday is coming up in December, so this is what I'm gonna give her. She and I met throughout our combined interest in journaling and our interest in lifting women up and being supportive of women. So there's a blank journal here and it's a beautiful cover and it says empowered women empower women. Don't you love that expression? I love it. I love thinking about it. I love giving gifts with this expression on it. This is a graph paper notebook and you know I love journaling in graph paper. So this is a compilation gift. She's getting the journal. She's getting my favorite markers that I, or pens that I love to journal with in an assortment of colors, my pa Papermate flare pens. So she's getting that. And then she's getting some fun other women themed gift items, like a pair of socks with some pretty flowers and a feminist symbol on it. And then some fun stickers that are about being supportive as women. So this is just a fun little assortment. They're all going in a pretty gift bag and that's gonna be part of her birthday gift right there. And I just wanna point out that this journal that is so beautiful, Empowered Women, Empower Women, it's a set of three. So the other two have the same coloring one, a lighter, shade of pink and then the other one is blue so they all look really good together they all use the same color families and then the other one says inhale exhale which is a really good reminder that we can just take a breath and then the other one says be stronger than your excuses so all three of them make a great compilation together or like i'm doing here you can just give one of them along with some other items so that is a fun gift idea right there Another fun gift idea, especially here in the holiday season, this one's pretty weighty. I can't wait to show you everything that's in it. Okay, we'll go with the journal first. It's actually not a journal. It is a book to rate and recommend holiday movies. And it's called Hot Cocoa and Christmas Movies. And it's got such a, a cute little scene on the front. And inside of it, it's got some really fun things that you could do if during this time of year, you like to watch Christmas movies. So it starts out with a recipe, some ideas for how to doctor up your hot cocoa, if that's what you want to do. And it has your movie wish list so that you can make a list of all the holiday movies you intend to watch. It has a movie advent calendar so that you can list out all the movies on the dates that you plan to watch them and then check them off as you watch them. And then it's got some bingo cards. So if you get one of these books uh, with a friend or just you know do it by yourself, it has all the different things that might happen in a holiday movie. And as you watch the holiday movie, you can mark them off and somebody can win bingo. Uh, so it's got some fun activities to do. And then uh, you get into the your index. So you can take a list of the 25 movies that you intend to watch this holiday season. And then you have pages to review each of those movies so that you can remember 
who were the characters, what was the plot, what was the setting, what were your notes about it, what did you like about it, would you recommend, should somebody else watch this, or was it recommended to you by someone? So that's a fun uh, seasonal gift, and to make it into a bundle, you can include some hot cocoa, of course, and a cute cup that says, let's get cozy, or whatever you want, and you know, something holiday, some holiday candy. So just look and see how cute this all goes together. It's a nice little bundle. It's something that someone would definitely use. They can use it by themselves or with someone else. It's very seasonal. So that makes a fun gift. Now, if you're thinking, okay, I like that idea, but uh, what about outside of the holiday season? That's a good idea too. I have another bundle for you in that case. And it's another movie review book. And it's not just for movies, it's for shows too. So movie and TV shows, it lets you keep track, just like in the last book of the movies and the TV shows that you've watched. Do you recommend them? Do you like them? Who were the characters? What did you think about them? And this bundle, you could include a gift card for some streaming so they can watch all the movies and shows as well as some popcorn or other movie theater treats or things like that. Put it all together, add a bow or throw it in a gift bag and give it to your favorite movie fan or TV fan. So all of those are available when you go to bexby.org slash quick shop. Um, and I'm open for other suggestions too. Or if you have a question or an, you, know, you need some help thinking of a gift related to journaling or related to writing things down or making lists, let me know. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. And I will talk to you again next week.